Hey guys, this is David with uh, Catalyst Connect. I'm going to walk you through uh, some of the button customization within Zoho campaigns. So we're here uh, within a template and when you start out you're going to go over here and click on button uh, and it'll allow you to choose one of these three to put in. Uh, then you go ahead and click on the one you want and drag it over. Um, and at first it'll ask you for a button name uh, and where you want it to take you. So this is where you'll put the uh, link in. And then you go ahead and click on save and it'll appear right here. Um, once you have the button up, go ahead and click on it and up here on the top toolbar, it'll have all the customization for the button. Uh, for instance, you can change the font color here. Uh, then you can change the background within the button. Uh, within here, you can choose the border if you have a large border around it. Um, and then the background color will be this actual fill color behind it. Uh, so you can leave that as white or whatever you like. Um, and then to change the font within it, you go over here on this side. Uh, you can click any of those, change the font size, change the border size, uh, and then do some of the font options here, bold, italicize, or underline. Um, within button properties here, you can click on that and go into edit button. Um, and this will be that there if you need to change the link or the button name or anything like that. If you click on the same button and go to design, uh, you can change the padding here. You can play around with this. This is the left and right side, and then this is the top and bottom. So you can go ahead and make that bigger, smaller, depending on how you want it to look. Uh, and then the style, this is where you can choose whether you want it. The curved corners, eclipse, or customize it. And this you can make it even more round if you want. You can go ahead and save it there. So as you can see, I created three buttons here. Um, but when you drag and drop them in, it places them all on top of each other. Uh, so if this isn't how you want it to look, if you want them to be all lined up next to each other, what you do is go over here uh, and click on the columns. And then choose whether you want uh, two columns if you have two buttons or three for the three buttons. And then you go ahead and drag that over here. And it will create these columns for you. And then you can go ahead and click on the button and then move it. As you can see, you can move it into each individual column. And so once you have those set up in the columns, you can go ahead and delete the content blocks here, unless you want to add some words or anything like that into them. And then that'll leave you with the three buttons side by side. And if you want to change how they're lined up, you can click on these blue lines here uh, and move them closer, further apart, or give some more room if you'd like. And finally here we'll go over how to add in the uh, social media widgets. So you click on advanced over here, uh, click on the widgets, and then choose whether you want the circle ones or the square ones here. Uh, you go ahead and drag them just like the buttons over here. Uh, and then you can choose which ones you want to be shown. Uh, and within here, this is where you'll actually uh, put your Facebook and Instagram links like that. Um, and then you click Next. Uh, and this is where you can choose whether you want just the icons to show up or the text and the icon. Uh, you can choose where you want them aligned. And you can also choose the icon style. So here we can have them white uh, with a little color, gray, black, or the full colored ones. And once you click finish, it will go ahead and get that set up for you. And then these work as well. If you have uh, columns created, you can go ahead and place it into the columns. Say we want them side by side here. So you can go ahead and click on this and then drag it up here. And those will be on one side, and then you can put a button or something else over here. Um, so that will do it. Reach out to us if you have any questions or would like to know anything else.
Uh, thanks for watching.